What's good, Skins fans? Um, once again, about a group chat um, that I announced that, like I said, Instagram is full. It's, it only holds 32 people. It's full. You, I've seen some comments in our last video about a different um, app for the group chat, so I will be doing that and send an invite. I'll probably put a link in my community tab, so be ready for that. Um, just give me about a couple days to put that. So it might not be put up today, but sometime this week, probably at least before the game against the Eagles. Um, big news, we just claimed Wendell Smallwood um, from waivers, and we cut Byron Marshall. Now, the, the, the biggest thing that I love about the Wendell Smallwood, he doesn't even have to touch the field for me, because we already have Geis, AP, and Chris Thompson. Smallwood doesn't even have to play. What he has to do is give us that playbook. Give us that playbook, uh, Wendell. Give us that playbook. I hope he took all the pictures he did he could before he left, take pictures of, this, of the playbook before they cut you, I think Wendell Smallwood should have known he was going to get cut because they brought in the Eagles, brought in Miles Sanders. They drafted him. They traded for Jordan Howard. And then they have another running back. I can't. I think it's Clement or somebody. I forgot who else they really have. Um, but they have Jordan Howard, Miles Sanders. Once they drafted and traded for those guys, I think Wendell Smallwood knew the writing was on the wall. Kind of like how Samaj P. Ryan got cut. He's on the Bengals now. Um, they just signed him off waivers or claimed him or whatever. Um, so Window Smallwood, give us that playbook, man. Give us that playbook. That's what I'm talking about. He should know everybody, everybody's tendencies. He should know what Carson Wentz likes to do. He should know what Miles Sanders likes to do, Jordan Howard. He should know all the plays. He should, or a good amount of the plays. He should know at least or remember at least 70% to 80% of the playbook. He really should know all of it, really. But at least if he can give us at least 70% of the playbook or 80%, that would be great for us. That would be very, very huge. Um, I can't remember the last time we signed an Eagles player. I think it was like Jeremiah Charter or somebody, like the last former Eagle that we had. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, sorry about that. We did have Deshaun. Deshaun was awesome for us. He was really good. We did sign him, um, and we did beat the Eagles a couple times when we had Deshaun. So I like, I like that formula, signing former Eagles, then beating the Eagles. I like that formula a lot. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, for the people who love Cam Sims, who are infatuated with Cam Sims, um, he, we signed him to the practice squad. I know that was a big controversy yesterday. Um, a lot of people were very upset that Cam Sims was released from the Washington Redskins, that he did not make the team over Steven Sims, or that he just didn't make the team in general. General, Like I said, that, that was a big topic, Cam Sims being cut. That was probably one of the bigger surprises. That was probably, Cam Sims being released was, might have been a bigger surprise than Josh Doxson. It wasn't a big surprise to me, really because of the three or two drops that he had against the Ravens. Um, all those drafts were just terrible. They were bad drops. Maybe one you could kind of try to blame it on Dwayne, but the last one where he the ball hit him literally, he literally had his hands up in the air like this. If you watch, I watched the replay. The, the ball literally hit the man in the in his hands like this. Then the ball dropped. It was like it was almost like, are you point shaving? Are you trying to lose? Are you trying to get cut, Cam? I mean, my gosh. I mean, we all love you, Cam. Cam is probably the most one of our most favorite undrafted free agents. I mean, Cam Sims has a freaking fan club. He has stands. This man has guys out here that love Cam so much, they might even get Cam Sims' name tattooed on them. That's how much they love Cam Sims. And I love, I love Cam Sims just as much as anybody else. But when you go out there and drop numerous passes, you, you, you just, you're subject to be cut. It is what it is. You can't go out there on the basketball court and miss three layups in a row or miss three dunks in a row. You're going to get cut. It is what it is. You, can't, you just can't do that. That's detrimental to the team. It hurts the team. We don't have time for drop passes in Philly. We don't have time for that. It is what it is. And like I said, Cam Sims has been a great player for us. The one-handed catches and, and acrobatic plays. But you got to get it done in a game. You got to do it in a game. Not, no, we're, not, we're not talking about practice. You got to do it in a game, man. Got to do it in a game, Cam. Now, Cam had a good preseason last year. This year, he just didn't get a lot of opportunities. But I'm very, very happy to see Cam Sims out there um, on the practice squad. Now, another team could offer to pay him more money and steal him. From the practice squad, kind of like how they did Simi Cobbs Jr. with the Saints last year. If you guys do remember Simi Cobbs Jr., who was a pretty good um, wide receiver for the Washington, he never really played in the games, but he was a he was a good preseason wide receiver. He was very talented. Um, he was he was he was darn. I like I like Simi Cobbs when I saw him. He was very a athletic, had a lot of acceleration. You you get the point basically. Um, and then there's another guy, uh, um, a a cut day candidate that a lot of people want to sign. His name is um, Stefan. Wisniewski, he was cut by the Eagles. He was an offensive lineman. I think he played left guard, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he could replace Eric Flowers. You know, I know everybody, nobody wants Eric the Human Turntable Flowers to even start. 
a game for the Washington Redskins. I'm kind of one of those people. I do like him run blocking, but pass blocking, which is going to be very, very important because he's going to be blocking. I think he's going to be blocking Fletcher Cox, if I'm not mistaken. And Fletcher Cox, is, I give Fletcher Cox his respect. He's really, really good. He's probably all, all pro defensive tackle. He's, you know, he's probably the best defensive tackle in the NFC East. You know, you could argue in the whole league. Of course, they're going to say Aaron Donald from the Rams, but Fletcher Cox is no joke. We've seen what Fletcher Cox has done to us in the past. And um, if Eric Flowers, they might switch it around or whatever. It doesn't matter if Eric Flowers plays left guard or whatever. They're going to switch. or we, Wherever Fletcher Cox is, we might have to just shift. I know we can't shift linemen, but Scherf is just going to have to guard that man. We just cannot have Eric Flowers up against Fletcher Cox. That's just a, that's a recipe. That's a nightmare. It's a recipe for disaster. Um, you know, I know we probably can't do that. That's probably not a realistic option. But like I said, I, I wish we could just have Scherf. We need to pay Scherf anyway. I don't know why. Another guy from the Bears, an offensive guard, just got a, a big extension from uh, from his team. And we still have an extended Scherf, which is just complete BS to me. I'm, I'm tired of waiting on Trent. Please just pay Scherf. Scherf wants to be here. We have no trouble with Sheriff. Scherf, Sheriff. We have no trouble with him. Please, please just sign this man. Please sign this man. Um, Or, or make an extension for Scherf. Um, like I said, I'm happy to hear that Cam Sims is back. You know, somebody gets injured, knock on wood, hopefully not. Um, you know, we can pull Cam Sims from the practice squad and he can make plays. And he, hopefully he can prove everybody right that he can make big plays in a real game. Not just preseason or practice, but in a real football game at a meaningful time and, and just actually make an impact on a game. If he can stay healthy. I love Cam Sims. I'm a big Cam, Cam Sims fan as well. You know, if he had a jersey, I, I'd think about buying it if it was like $40. I wouldn't pay more than $40 for a Cam Sims jersey, but I know the jersey would be expensive. Um, so that's the news for right now. Wendell Small, I'll probably put his highlights in the description. Um, I'll probably do that. Um, so if, you, if if people don't know who Wendell Smallwood is, if you're not familiar with him, um, you can see his highlights. I'll put the link in the description, like I said. Um, like I said, he, he really doesn't have to play for me. Seriously, he really – I know he's, he's better than Byron Marshall. He's, pro, he's better than Samaj P. Ryan from some of the film that I've seen from um, Smallwood. But, you know, like I said, I, he does, he really doesn't have to touch the field. Like I said, running back is not a problem for the Redskins. We have Adrian Peterson. We have Geis, Chris Thompson. Running back is not a problem at all. Bryce Love is on IR. He probably will redshirt and not play this whole season. So, um, I guess Smallwood will get the nod there. Um, Sean Wilson on IR as well. But, like I said, we're, we're good at running back. Running back is not the problem of this team. Like I, I, believe, I personally believe we have the best running back room in the NFC East and in the NFL because Adrian Peterson had 1,000 yards last year. Um, Chris Thompson is incredible. The year he got injured, 2017, well, he gets injured every year, but 2017, he was unstoppable. He was catching the football, running it. He was our offense. He was our, he was by far the best player on our offense um, that year when we didn't have Deshaun Jackson, we didn't have Pierre Garçon, Terrell Pryor was awful, and we had uh, Josh Doxson, who was a rookie, who didn't do anything either. Um, so I think Chris Thompson by far was our best offensive weapon at that time, and he's still a, a big weapon for real. When he runs the ball, when, he did, when we did a little draw play for Chris Thompson, he just shoots out of there like a cannon. Um, I love watching Chris, John, Chris Thompson play. And we already, like I said, we already know what Adrian Peterson is going to do. And we saw what guys did in, in the preseason. You know, so I, I love I love our running back. Our running back and our defensive line, those are the two uh, positions that I am in love with. I love, love, love the players at that position. So um, let me know what y'all think about this sign. And let me know what y'all think about Cam Sims. I know you guys are happy to hear he's back on the team. So um, Adonis Alexander's on the practice squad. Ryan B., is on the practice squad as well. I just heard that. So that's good news as well. I don't know about Adonis Alexander. I don't really, I don't dislike Adonis Alexander, but, you know, I like Ryan B a lot. So um, let me know what y'all think. Hell to them skins, hell to the wizards. All right, y'all. Peace.